G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Right, Friday morning here in Australia, market has risen a little bit, so now we're up 4.4%, back above 2.6 trillion, so we got up to about 2.7, dropped down to 2.5, and now we're back to 2.6. So market is uh, a little bit sort of volatile at the moment, you know, it's up, it's down, and it's all over the place. And we're still really waiting to see some kind of breakout. But when Bitcoin's kind of doing this in a somewhat ranging pattern, whew, some of those altcoins can run pretty hard as we've seen. So again, Bitcoin dominance dropping again. So, you know, people starting to get back in the altcoins, they're getting excited, volume down a little bit. Bitcoin sitting just under 61,000 and gas price is still pretty high again because people are jumping in and out of things all over the place. Uh, in, into stable coins, out of stable coins, jumping between different coins. Uh, a lot of those coins are generally uh, Ethereum based, hence why the Ethereum price is up so high. All right, we can see it's pretty green, but there's some red in there. Shiba Inu, of course, it was going to have a pullback. Couldn't last forever. Now we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. But what's performed the best in the last 24 hours, considering the market is up 4.4% overall? Holy dooly safe moon. Good Lord, everyone's just chasing mean coins and, you know... I don't want to say the word, but shit coins, that's what I've heard about SafeMoon. Look, I've not really done a whole lot of research into it myself. I just, yeah, I don't hear good things about it, so it's really just kept me away. And hopefully, you know, if anyone who's invested in SafeMoon that, you know, I'm actually wrong and it's going to, you know, be to my detriment that I haven't done enough research, but I've heard it's a scam coin. So, good Lord, beware, but, you know, congratulations to anyone who makes money from anything is what I say. That's not illegal. <laughs> Just have to throw that in. I don't congratulate anyone who makes money illegally. All right, so Safe Moon, I mean, far out, 40 plus percent pump. Dogecoin, 20 percent pump. Again, because Shiba Inu uh, has pulled back a little bit. Mana, 20 percent. Uh, Kadena, 17 percent. Matic, Back above two dollars, nice. I mean, Olympus, uh, a nice pump. Engine coin continuing to move. Look, it's just green across the board. Things are looking quite nice. So, as we go through these uh, stories, and we're going to have a look at the Bitcoin chart, I do want people just to consider that maybe this is, you know, we're getting close to the kind of pointy end here. Not a blow off top yet at the moment, but yeah, just. Beware, you know, things are, you know, Bitcoin's not far off its all-time high. Ethereum's not far off its all-time high. You know, Matic's getting close. I think $2.18, $2.20 was its an all-time high. Engine is, I think, if it's not at its all-time high, it's pretty close at the moment. So lots of coins getting close to their all-time high. So chances are we are getting close to some kind of peak. Now, again, how far away it is, we'll have to wait and see. Is the expanding uh, cycle theory going to play out? Is it not going to play out? Are we going into this super cycle? Uh, it's really hard to know. But, you know, to anyone who's watched my channel for a while, you know, just be careful and, you know, consider taking some profits at some stage. I'm not saying it has to be now. I'm not saying it has to be next week. And number one, I'm never offering you financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I have no background in that. So this is just my personal opinion. But when things start to get frothy, just start to consider taking profits. Now, this isn't that frothy just yet, because again, a lot of these things aren't even at all-time highs, but they are getting close. Now, they can run quite a bit after that, but probably not as much as what you're going to think, unfortunately. That's where a lot of people get stuck. They'll buy something at an all-time high, and they'll be like, you know, this has still got another, you know, four or five X in it at least. Sometimes you're going to be right. A lot of the times you're probably going to be wrong, unfortunately, unless you've been around for a while and then you've probably got a pretty good idea. But people new to this market, yep, things are going to go up quite fast. I mean, you know, where else are you going to get 20% in a day uh, in any other market? You're, you're unlikely to ever see that. You'll be lucky if you can get that in a year. But, you know, we do that in 24 hours here. But Look, let me tell you, when things turn and all of a sudden, you know, we are in a bear market, not just a downtrend, a bear market, that 20% will be gone oh so quickly. And, you know, you could see your favorite coins, and I'm not specifically saying mana, <laughs> but you can see them down, you know, 70, 80% in just a matter of like a week or two. And then they continue to still go down from there and you can lose up to 99% 
uh, of everything in that coin within a space of about a year and that's like there's a bit of a difference from uh, you know that kind of week or two to a year but yeah it happens quickly it just doesn't really seem that quickly in hindsight but you know when it's actually happening it happens pretty quick all right so lots of gains i mean a couple of really good double digit ones plenty of high single digits what about losses though is there many losses in the top 100 in the last 24 hours well shib as we were saying before i mean it's had a crazy pump so yes it's going to pull back the graph waves phantom cell Look, again, a lot of these coins, they were pumping in the last few sort of days to a week. So that's mainly what this is. But look, we're already getting into the stable coins fairly quickly. So hardly any losses whatsoever. And the losses that were there, other than SHIB, which has had one hell of a pump already, you know, it's low single digit losses. So again, that's the exuberance of the market. Things are looking quite nice. Let's have a look at the Bitcoin chart because this is the chart that, again, I really base everything off this. There's other charts that can help guide, but until Bitcoin no longer leads this market, really, if you just look at the Bitcoin chart, it'll give you most of the answers that you're sort of seeking. All right, so we're still in this blue uh, upwards trending channel, which is really nice. And again, look at that. We had that big pump and then we had the sell off and this is maybe an A, B, C correction. And now we're starting to make our way back up. We'll have to wait and see. There are no guarantees in life. This still could be just a bit of a correction before it rolls over further. But I just get the feeling like this is maybe, again, this will be the A, this will be the B, this will be the C correction. And then hopefully we start to make our way back up. But we'll wait and see. 60,000 for Bitcoin is not too bad. But what we need to remember is people are really predicting that we're only going to get to about here 100,000. And sometime... I mean, look, we're at the end of October now, so in the next month and a half to, you know, two months, thereabouts, that's not that big a move, really, when you kind of put it like that. And we're going to go out to somewhere around about sort of here. So there you can see, I mean, we do that from where we are now. And we get to, you know, around about 100,000. Well, there we go, 31st of December. That's only a 70% move. That's really not that much. Now, there's no guarantees Bitcoin gets to 100,000. A lot of people are saying it will, but then there's a lot of people saying that uh, they think that will be the top and so they're going to start to take profits. So, you know, if you're going to take profits, again, never financial advice. I would be careful about waiting for exactly on 100,000. I think a lot of people are going to front run it. I think it'll be interesting to see if Bitcoin can get over 80,000 really because so many people are just going to try and front run it. And anyone who got in early is probably going to want to take profits earlier. So that's, you know, with Bitcoin, um, look, they could be wrong and we could see this crazy blow off top and maybe there is a hundred and, you know, sorry, $180,000, $250,000 blow off top. I just think there's a lot of big players in the market. They're going to try and front run and dump the market. So, yeah, be careful. But when you look at it like this, uh, 31st of December, again, somewhere around about there, people are thinking it'll peak uh, to $100,000. Sort of it's only a 70% move, which, again, that really isn't that much considering we've seen things like this. I mean, what was that? Let's have a look. From here to there was a 63% move. So we've already had a 63% move. So we only need to see another somewhat similar move to that. So there you go. It really isn't that hard whatsoever. So we'll have to keep an eye out. Uh, you know, it's so hard to pick tops and I never like to make predictions and things like that. But I think the 100K mark, there'll be a lot of resistance and I think it'll come early. But again, that's just a personal opinion. It's not financial advice. For me, I'm not really going to take too many profits from my Bitcoin. That is my savings account. You know, if Bitcoin somehow manages to make it to $150 plus thousand dollars, I'll take some profits from Bitcoin uh, around about there. But at 100000 uh, I'm just I'm happy to keep it because yeah that's just me you do what you have to do I'll be looking to take profits from altcoins uh, Bitcoin not so much I got it at a, what I consider a really good price and I'll just hold on to it uh, and I have it earning interest on things like Celsius and BlockFi as well so you know I'm happy to let that do its thing through the bear market and then we'll see where it gets uh, in the next cycle and again I'll be looking to you know, further add to my stacks in uh, any bear markets that do come. 
but you know keep in mind there is that possibility of a super super cycle i just i'm not sold on that yet you know and unfortunately i won't be sold on it until it is happening you know bitcoin suddenly gets to you know three four hundred thousand and hasn't had any real significant kind of pullbacks then i'll believe in the super cycle all right a couple of stories i wanted to look at bitcoin's back over 60k and el salvador has bought another 420 bitcoin so they were most likely buying the dip and they'll keep continuing to scale in i just it'll be interesting to see how Bitcoin performs at that $100,000 mark because they've obviously been buying around about 60k probably a little bit under and you know for people of El Salvador you know it's what they call an underdeveloped nation or a developing nation is probably a better word for it you know you'd hate to think people like this get totally wrecked by Bitcoin you know it gets to 100,000 and dips all the way back down to you know $12,000 or something like that that would be really uh, painful and then you know they'd probably sell at a loss and you know people who are in developing nations the last thing they need to sell is uh, sell something is at a loss they really need to uh, have it for the upside and again you know we'll wait and see about the people in El Salvador about whether they're really using it as a you know like a currency or they're using it as a form of savings which a lot of people around the world is really what they use bitcoin for it's not so much that they uh buy and sell things with it it's more that they uh yeah see it as a long-term store of value uh that's what i see it as uh but that doesn't mean that's what it is that's just what i see it as and i think that's the general sentiment but can that change over time will bitcoin actually be a currency you know that's probably you know for like a world currency i think that's probably 10 20 years away at least but again never financial advice we'll see but guess what it's not just el salvador buying bitcoin still micro strategy has come out and they've added almost nine thousand bitcoin to its holdings in the third quarter so again i think micro strategy are really buying the dips when they sort of happen they're not just simply buying all the time they are dollar cost averaging into the dips uh, is what it definitely seems to be so they have roughly 7.4 billion dollars worth of bitcoin right now and again it'll be interesting to see what happens if there is a a big correction just how far down can it go considering micro strategy will be you know buying it but look they buy otc so they're not buying from the spot market so whatever they buy isn't going to push the price up a bitcoin it's just the fact that they may be buying that may get people excited again they'll be like oh micro strategies you know bitcoin gets to a hundred thousand and all of a sudden they're buying more when it's at you know fifty six thousand that might be enough for everyone to go right out we'll wear back in whether that happens or not we'll have to wait and see but micro strategy I mean they just continue to buy el salvador continue to buy i mean i continue to buy you know once bitcoin starts getting you know into price discovery and it's not quite there yet i'll definitely bring down the amount of bitcoin that i'm buying but as long as it is under any old all-time highs i'm happy to put in around about 30 percent of my portfolio into bitcoin it's just once it breaks into price discovery that's when i will pull back but again if, if it goes to like a hundred and 20,000 then all of a sudden it's you know back down at you know 80,000 well then I'm going at least 30 percent and maybe even more but that's the DCA before I really deploy any large amounts of cash that I will hopefully have made from selling uh, altcoins and things like that I'll wait till I see some kind of bottoming formation uh, but again maybe we never see one again we're in this super cycle thing who knows but people buying Bitcoin now Here's another sign that we're starting to get frothy again into the top. Coinbase returns to number one in Apple App Store in the US. So again, retail is starting to come back now. Now, technically, anyone who's not institutional is called retail. Uh, so I guess that's me and you. But we need to look for the signs that maybe things are starting to get a little bit frothy. Again, I'm not, I never give you financial advice and I'm not saying sell everything now, but you know the herd is starting to come back and the herd are always late they're not out the front uh, of the things they all just kind of move together so again for me just you know keep an eye on things they're starting to get frothy it might be a good time to at least start considering taking uh, some profits 
you don't have to you've got to do you i haven't really taken any major profits now again i said i took some profits from uh, secret network the other day it was a very small amount literally you know a tiny percentage of uh, sr uh, secret network just because it was doing so well and look i put them into xrp because i think xrp is going to have its moment and it hasn't really pumped yet so that is just taking a very small amount but in the next sort of couple of weeks i definitely will be looking to take a lot more profit if things continue the way they're going if we're still just kind of hovering around sixty thousand with bitcoin you know, I'll be taking some profits here and there from some altcoins because they're going to pump and then you most likely, and they already are, you can see that in the charts, and then most likely uh, Bitcoin will start to pump and then, you know, again, altcoins pump when Bitcoin is just kind of in a ranging motion and again, we saw that before when it was ranging about the kind of 64-ish, $58,000 level and now we're kind of ranging in a very similar spot again. So we can go back to here. We're ranging here which was the same as we were arranging here. And this is where altcoins went uh, pretty crazy. So we'll have to wait and see how long this ranging lasts for. But Bitcoin definitely could get on a bit of a run. Uh, and yeah, just be ready. All right, Voyager Digital. So we looked yesterday and they, uh, the crypto broker for the Dallas Mavericks. Well, now Alameda Research has put in $75 million into uh, Voyager Digital. So Alameda Research, Sam Bankman and that, they're, pretty smart uh, people and they've made some really smart moves in the digital space and even they have decided to get into Voyager Digital. Now Voyager hasn't been doing much price wise, uh, it's been traveling sideways uh, for quite some time but that could be the reason why Alameda decided to get in, not simply because it's traveling sideways. Number one, they liked the project and number two, they felt like it had bottomed out. So we'll wait and see if Voyager is going to have a big move from here. But if Alameda Research are buying into something, it's usually a good indication that because they're considered smart money, very smart money that maybe smart money is getting into Voyager as well. So keep an eye out for some price discovery from Voyager in the not too distant future. And last but not least, I mean, you know, Doge was doing so well earlier in this kind of bull run. Then Shiba Inu come out of nowhere. And now Floki Inu pumps 233%. Uh, it is just, it really is uh, meme coin season at the moment. They've just, you know, Doge is up today because uh, Shiba Inu is down a little bit and Floki Inu pumps even more. <sighs> Look, you can make crazy money in this space and if you can get onto the you know these kind of meme coins because they really are pumping hard but you got to get onto them early not late the money that you can make can be transformational but myself i'm not chasing them at the moment i feel like we're closer to the end it's just too risky and you're probably more likely to get in at a bad time and get wrecked than you are to get in a good time the good time was like you know last year uh really early last year uh uh, let's say sort of you know June last year for Doge I mean you would have made crazy money up uh, until sort of particularly if you sold out just before it got to 80 cents and then same thing with Shiba Inu I mean if you had got into Shiba Inu at around about the same time last year you would be up so much you know like a, a million percent nearly it has just been crazy and now again Floki Inu <laughs> pumps 23 percent so Things are starting to get a little bit crazy. Be careful with the meme coins. And again, just keep an eye on the charts. We may be getting ready to, you know, sort of have that blow off top uh, in the next few months in December. And don't guarantee that Bitcoin is going to 100,000. It might get to sort of 75, 80,000 and that is it. And then it pops. So, yeah. I just want everyone to be aware and just understand that when things are green and getting kind of a little bit crazy... I'm not saying this couldn't, this entire space couldn't pump a whole lot harder, but it's because so many, many people are expecting that, that it probably might not happen. Probably might not. <laughs> That's a bit weird. It just might not happen. Just consider that because so many people are expecting it, particularly when you're talking about the, you know, the financial world, then a lot of people are probably going to front run it and dump it early. But they could also pump it even beyond that. But most of the time, they dump early is what happens. So, yeah, buyer beware. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're all on that game train. And I'll see you next time.